Reb Levi Yitzhak Bender, who was a Breslover elder of the previous generation, he once uh, made a comment. He said that you have people now, recently, in the Breslov movement, and they call themselves Breslovers, Breslover Hasidim, that innovated new hanhagot, new uh, di- directives and, and guidelines as to how to interpret Rabbi Nachman's teachings. And he spoke against them, specifically in particular, that there were people who began to say, seeing how much light they got from Rabbi Nachman's teachings, that the main thing is to learn only Rabbi Nachman's teachings, and that should be the main emphasis, the strength, the, the real emphasis only on that. And Rabbi Yitzhak Bender, he spoke against that, showing that Rabbi Nachman himself, he's told us to learn a lot. If you take a look at the famous Rabbi Nachman's wisdom, Sichot Haran, conversation number 76, Ayn Vav, Rabbi Nachman gives us a quota, a daily quota, for a year, what to learn. And you'll see that there's so much to learn on the quota that he gave us, that the year wouldn't be enough. He said, for example, to finish the, every year, the entire four sections of the Shulchan Aruch, the Code of Jewish Law, with all the major commentaries, including the Magen Avraham, the Taz, the Baretev, the, the Shach, all the other commentaries that are in Choshen Mishpat, Yeredea, and to finish every year the entire Talmud, the entire Shas, the Gemara, with the commentaries of Rashi, Rosh, Rif, and Ran. And to finish the entire, all the Midrashim. There's Midrash Rabbah, there's Tanat Ve'eliyahu, there's uh, Midrash Tanchuma, there's many Midrashim, Midrash Shochetov, to finish all the Midrashim in the year, and to learn the entire Zohar, and the Tikkuni Zohar, by Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai every year, and to learn all of the Kitvi Ari, the writings of the Arizal, every year. You know, that's some 30,000 pages a year. you got to be kidding. But this was what Rabbi Nachman said. And Rabbi Yitzhak Bender, he dismissed those people who felt, seeing that so much light was given to them by learning breast of teachings, so that should be the only emphasis. So he warned that a person who's after learning, which gives them a light, and makes that learning their main and only emphasis, they will see that that attitude won't last for long. For everything, including Torah study, you need a balance. And he explained Rav Levi Bender that learning pshat, pshat means learning Torah law, learning the Gemara, these are teachings which settle the brain, settle the mind, so that a person is then capable of learning the depths of the Torah, which we call Hasidut, Hasidic teachings, which is the depth. You're able to properly imbibe, take in the, the secrets of the Torah and the format of Primuta Torah, the Hasidic teachings, which take the secrets of the Torah and bring it to you in a practical format, which brings you light and excitement and joy, whatever you want to call it in life. Learning the pshat, making sure that I, may, I have the simple learning, the, the, the straightforward learning of the Torah scheduled and fixed in my daily life that will give me the, the, the ability to gain in proper morsels without overdoing it, the light of the Primuta Torah. And he said, for example, in previous generations in Uman, where don't forget there were the Jews there were being persecuted left and right by the communists, by everyone. You had people, due to circumstances, couldn't learn all day. So they were able, though, to be able to learn like one paragraph of the Code of Jewish Law for the day, and on that, to be able to do a few hours of Hidbodidut and intense davening and intense tehillim, and they would be able to live with that. Those were those generations, they had strong minds for doing that, those type of devotions, and they were able to be committed in that. But Yeridat Dorot, we are now in a generation where Western culture has really overcome almost everybody. People become more, quote-unquote, modernized, more into the world, more into physicality, more into comfort. So because of that, there is a danger of just taking a little bit of learning and getting excited and enlightened by that. Rather, a person today needs a lot of pshat, 
a lot of straightforward learning in order to put their mind frame proper and proper balance so that when they do learn the depths of the Torah, the Pnimiuta Torah, the teachings of Hasidut, for example, Rabbi Nachman's teachings, Rav Nosson's teachings, they will do the job right. They will help a person to, to, to properly take it and most importantly, to have a continuity with it, that it should be consistent. That no matter what they go through, they will stick to serving Hashem, stick to Torah study, stick to commitment in wanting only what Hashem wants and no, nothing less than that. Thank you.